Hey guys, this is Isaac and Bjorn bringing you Ratchet Clank Future Tools of Destruction Speedrun Segment Siete. Which is seven. seven in El Espanol. Which is just Creeley. Um, Creeley is a very unfortunate planet in what we do to it. <laughs> you watch there, this works on any planet, but Creeley is the only one that it actually helps. Um, I don't really know how to explain it. Just get. Uh, crouch jump with the helipack in the middle of your ship. Has to be the helipack. Has to be the middle of the ship, and then that will happen. <laughs> it's the ship jump, question mark. Yeah, and then shooting that guy actually saves you having to watch a uh, cutscene where it pans down and shows off that he's a, a turret pirate. I don't really know why they're doing that. I guess that's the first turret pirate that you see. It's just another great example of this game's constant camera theft. And then for some reason you can jump around this, um, I, I guess they just, there's not really many grabbing sections in this whole thing. I'm glad they realized how unfun those are. And this is a nice little skip that just gets you around that hollow pirate. Very simple. Um, I guess they so just... So that's two, by the way, two disco dancing segment thingies skipped, which is great, because those are just not only, ugh, they take a lot of time, so... <laughs> Not only are they completely revolting on every level, but... Yeah, and then here, this is, uh, the famed teddy bear skip, which is definitely credited to Bjorn. Woohoo! Uh, just glide you, over here, glide through this wall yeah, that looks like it's solid. Yeah, just like... I was just kind of messing around, and I was like, I wonder if this wall is solid. Apparently not. And then you come through here, and... What do you know? It's the top of Iris. Uh, if you take a left, you get to the teddy bear. You take a right, you can continue the speed run. And for those of you that don't know, there's, um, it, I think it's the only found teddy bear, and this is another rogue battle, by the way, once again, no chance of dying. Um, I think there's only one in tools. There's several in a crack and die, but there's only one in tools. It's, it's a teddy bear, it's on top of the iris. Um, me thinks that possibly the game designers discovered a glitch similar to the one that Bjorn found, which allowed them to get on top of the, uh, comet. And, uh, and here's the, the computer that's been severely damaged by butt pirates. <laughs> but yeah, so then they, they just put a teddy bear there, so that anyone who glitched there would have a little reward. And then there are a lot in a crack in time. I don't think anyone's found all of them yet. And another Clank <laughs> segment. Oh, boy. I, I was This weeping. is the one Isaac was close to skipping. Like, all of, basically. Yeah, and then I, I run into the fence there. I don't know what happened. <laughs> anyway, this is undoubtedly the most inefficient computer ever created. I mean, look at these just giant gaps where there's nothing. It's just like, not only is there electrified floor and pirates there's walking all over... stairs and doors in a computer. I haven't seen a single piece of anything related to computing. It's just been platforms <laughs> for a game character. Who puts game character platforms in a computer, and there's another platform, or a fence hit there. Yeah. I have difficulty with fences, apparently. Um, and then, I totally mess up this really, really easy little, I don't know, glitch or whatever, but you can get on top of the door just by gliding off the top of that. It doesn't save any time or anything. I'm just screwing around at this point. It's really difficult to mess up the flank sections. <laughs> I mean, Mainly I guess... Mainly because you don't do anything in them at all. Yeah, it's like anything that's difficult, you can just slow down time during, and all the jumps are really easy, and you don't have to do any fighting. So, there's not really anything left to be difficult. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> and then this one just goes on a little too long. I mean, I'd be okay with... Well, I really hated the up your arsenal clank sections, but I, I'm, be, I'm okay with short clank sections. Like, if it's just, you know, like, go through, uh, like, one or two little puzzles that you have to solve, that's fine. But things like this, where it's essentially the exact same thing, repeated, like, four times. Yeah, and at least in A Crack in Time, they made the clank sections interesting by having those little record-yourself puzzles. It sounds sort of wrong, but they were fun, and they were different every time, for the most part. Uh, but these, you just kind of walk around and avoid the same set of obstacles, like, like these little zappy fences. I think this laser's about to get me. Oh, no, I stopped. Okay. And yeah, you yeah. just avoid these, and they just arrange them in different ways and take up your time. And then here I stand on top of this component, because it does actually remain solid until it's locked in the thing. And then that's all of Creeley. Um, 
it's a shame there's a clank section, because otherwise all of Krilly would be, like, less than three minutes. Which would be great, but... but Side. Next is Zordoom. Yeah, I think Zordoom all the... Zordoom and Verdigris. Which is a very <laughs> long set. Yeah. Zordoom is, uh... Well, A, it's the, the sole reason that we're able to kill the three bosses left in the run. And B, it's also the, by far, the longest segment in the run. So the commentary is going to be pretty interesting. Pretty subdued. It's going to be exhausting. Anyway, um, and then land on Zordoom, pop open the menu, do a hard save, and that is the conclusion of the Greeley segment. See you guys later. Bye, guys.